So what happened here is, I'm going to go ahead and explain it. This is, a, this is a common situation when you're working on a car for as long as I've been working on this and you want to get it out of here. There's, the longer the car stays here, the longer the car's here, the more issues we're going to have trying to get it out of the shop. And this is one of them right here. Now, what happened is the owner purchased two deck lids for this car. The first one turned out to be a giant Bondo buggy piece of shit. The second one turned out to be a hail damaged, rusted pile of junk. I went ahead and painted the first one not under my authorization. I told him not to do it under his. And it turned out basically like I said, a Bondo buggy piece of shit. So we considered to go ahead and keep the deck lid, but we decided we're gonna get another one. He ships the other one out here. He asks me, he sends me pictures and he asks me, what do you think? Does this look good? How do I know? I'm looking at pictures, okay? I'm not feeling it, touching it. I'm not seeing it in person. I don't know. Well, it ends up that he ships it out here and then we go ahead and restore the deck lid. Well, the deck lid didn't come out as nice and beautiful as we wanted it to due to the fact that this thing was total junk as well. Now, mind you, he only paid like 80 bucks or $100 for this deck lid. So he couldn't really complain to the guy that he bought it from. But, I mean, maybe it was worth 100 bucks. I don't know. Who knows? So, anyway, I had the car done. I wasn't happy with the deck lid. I was not happy with it. I didn't like the way that it came out. I thought that it came out like crap. And I didn't want to deliver it to him in that stage, but I told him, if you want to keep it this way, that's fine. If you don't, then I will redo it. Let's redo the deck lid, Pete. Let's go ahead and redo it. So I extremely and exhaustedly redid the deck lid. And when I say redid it, I went ahead and completely redid all the bodywork. I purchased a product called Super Build. I sprayed, I believe, four coats of that on it. I extensively, extremely block sanded this out. I put two more coats of 2K primer on it. And finally, we got the deck lid looking where we want it. Is it perfect? No. It's not flawlessly perfect, but it is in super, 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 I would say, close to mint condition. And the deck is finally done. This thing had major rust in this corner, all the way down this edge. It had hail damage on it. It had dents that were popped up, like somebody put something in the trunk and Okay, you know what I'm talking about. So it was in seriously bad shape. The good thing about this deck lid, it's done. I used minimal body work on it. I used my hammers and dollies. I used my shrinking discs and everything that it takes to 
use minimal body filler. I'm not saying that it doesn't have any body filler. It does have body filler. But it should last him as long as he owns the car. And it looks really, really good. And one more thing about this deck lid. It's an original factory deck lid. It's not aftermarket. And when you're dealing with cars like this, okay, um, being a K-code convertible, um, I would say that this is a desirable collector car. You're better off to use OEM, original factory parts, that has minor body work done to them than using aftermarket parts that don't fit worth a shit and are made out of half the thickness of the metal and are prone to rot and rust and get ruined a lot quicker than the factory. Just my opinion. So let's get back to our story here on our situation. And what the situation is, is when I redid the bodywork on the deck lid and did everything that I had to do, I had to have the deck lid mounted on the car. It's very hard to get a bolt-on panel perfect when it's sitting on a stand or you got it on sawhorses or you know something where it's not solidly mounted on the vehicle. So I had to put it back on. Now what I did is I covered the car with plastic and then I took uh, uh, the plastic, kind of like what you see, and I took two inch duct tape and I went around the opening. Well, I should have came out here with the duct tape on the plastic because what happened, and this is what really sucks, and it always happens when you're being super careful and super, super cautious, is that when I was block sanding, my sander, my block sander, barely touched the edge of the plastic right here. Barely touched it. But it touched it hard enough because it had 80 grit sand bear. It, it, it feathered across that edge just like that hard enough that it scratched the paint down to the primer. So what this is called, this is a blend job. I used my mini SATA uh, touch-up gun and I blended the paint in, then I blended the clear in, and now what we're doing, we are going to buff this area out. Now, when you do a job like this, um, this is a very technical job, and if you're a beginner or somebody that might be a novelist, I do not recommend you doing this. Because if you don't know what you're doing here, you're going to end up painting this whole quarter panel. And if you get into doing that, then you might have a chance of not matching the paint, even though the paint came out of the same can, and then you're going to be really screwed. So if you are a novelist and this happens to you, I suggest that you find a professional that you can seriously trust to do it properly. So I had to blend this in, and now what I'm doing is I'm taking 1500, and I'm not using brand new, see I'm using old. I don't want to use a brand new piece of 1500, because if I do that, I might accidentally hit that edge and burn the paint off one more time. So we're staying away from that edge, and I'm using my finger as a guide, and I am over sanding the area that I painted because I got to buff this out. But this is the problems that you have. This is the last thing that I am going to do to this car. This is it. We're done. I'm going to detail this out. I'm going to get this situation done. Then we're going to do our final walkthrough and it's over. Okay, we're going to do the walkthrough on this car. We're going to do the walk around. We're not going to do a reach around. Nobody's going to get screwed on this deal. And I guarantee you my friend Pete ain't going to get screwed. I have to deliver this thing all the way back to Dallas. And I don't want to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's not my responsibility to get his car to him. Now he's going to pay me to do it. 
Of course he is. I'm not doing it for free. But the situation is I'm putting mileage on my truck. I'm taking a week off of my time when I can stay here and work on other cars. And I am losing money. I hate to disappoint everybody out there in the big world. Okay? But I am not a millionaire. I am not rich. I work for a living just like you do. And when I'm not working, I am famming. What is famming? Have you ever heard the old saying, feast or famine? There you go. So when shit like this happens, I'm not making any money. I'm famming. I am fat. I'm famming. So I got to get this piece of shit done. We're going to do our walk around. And it's leaving the shop. Plain and simple. Let me go ahead and explain to you a square deal situation, okay? Let me tell you this, you cocksucker. This guy needs to shut the hell up and quit crying like a big baby. He just needs to do the job and do it like it's supposed to be done. I leave the tags on my hats every now and then because I like it. It's a beautiful deal. You leave the tag on there and you let everybody know it's brand new, you son of a bitch. And I'm not crying, I'm not whining today. I should be, but this isn't about Sammy Slammy. It's never about me. It's always about this cocksucker and his whitey ass bullshit. Why do I gotta put up with it? Why do I gotta listen to the bullshit while I'm editizing all the videos for this cocksucker? It's not fair to me to have to put up with this son of a bitch, but I got to. Listen to the son of a bitch crying wide all the time. It's a shame that he just can't get the job done, get it out of the shop, and move on to the next job. That's the real situation, people. Not like my hat, of course. Beautiful, luscious hat that it is. I like this hat. I don't like it as much as my, my, my flower hats, but it's a hat, you know what I'm saying? And it's trying to make Sammy happy. You know, you need to tell this cocksucker and get Sammy a McDonald's hamburger. You need to tell this cocksucker to give me my slits, my liquor. For all the hard work I'm doing over here, sweating my nutsack off, and have to listen to this guy whining and crying all the time. This is Sammy Slim, and I'm the one that's got to put up with it, not you. I'm the one that's got to... Listen to the complaining and, and the harassment and I'm taking the verbal abuse just by advertising the videos, you son of a bitch. See, I'm slamming straight out of Miami right here. I got my beautiful hat on my shirt. If you ain't got one, contact Sammy Slammy. Maybe I can hook you up, you bastard. Maybe I can get you a beautiful hat like this one right here. I got you to go. I got advertising to do. I'm, I'm, I'm advertising videos. I, I'm trying to get things square deal over here. And, and I just can't do it when I got to hear this right here. So I got to get this piece of shit. I got, got it, son of a... And it's leaving the shop. Plain and simple. Do you see what I got to put up with? Do you understand now? Why do you think I sneak out of this damn dump? Head back to Miami, because I don't like it here. I think it sucks. The people suck here. This guy sucks. Everybody sucks. The weather sucks. It's a sucky situation, but my hat makes everything right because it's beautiful. It's beautiful, people. Sammy Slam is straight out of Miami, and I got to say goodbye. Have a great day. Unlike this son of a bitch. Making my day worse, that's all I can say. It's making my day worse, people. <laughs> it's, it's a bad situation. Right here. <laughs> right here, people. Right here. Just like that. You cocksucker. Bastard. <laughs>
I got to get this piece of shit done. We're going to do our walk around, and it's leaving the shop. Plain and simple. Get, get, goo, goo. Me, me, mommy. Mommy, mommy. Get, get, goo, goo. Me, one bottle. Bad, bad, bad. Mm-hmm.